What's up guys, I'm PC Bloodmaster, and welcome to the first episode of the Pokemon Gaia Nuzlocke. So, um, as you all know, we did just finish Pokemon Expert Emerald, and today we are going to be starting Pokemon Gaia. So, I did decide to use uh, or play this game. I did have a few other choices being Pokemon Light Platinum, Pokemon um, Prism, and Pokemon Glazed, but... Glazed and Light Platinum are both based off of Pokemon Emerald, and so the intro I thought was like going to be something kind of like, you know, we've already done that. So let's go back to a game that is of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green based. So here we are. Hello there. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. The name's Redwood. I'm Pokemon Professor. I study our fascinating world and the creatures that inhabit it. I'm also an archaeologist. Unraveling the past is my passion. This creature is Kabuto, a Pokemon. Pokemon are our friends, pets, and work partners. With today's technology, we can revive Kabuto from a mere fossil. Indeed, the tenacity of life is something to behold. But enough about me. Tell me, are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. I see, and what is your name? Okay, so we're going to go with the generic Nick, as is my name. Let's go for that. Ah, your name is Nick? Wonderful, Nick. Now, this adventure of yours, it sh will surely be one of the history books. Make it count. So here we are, as usual, in our bedroom. We're going to start off as we would in any other Nuzlocke and grab a potion. So, Pokemon Gaia, just to give a little bit of a fill-in, is a... Pokemon Fire Red Hack that is up to, I believe, 5th? Actually, no. I think it's up to 6th gen because there is Mega level Evolution in the game. So, I'm assuming it's 6th gen except I think Mega how Mega Evolution works in this game is you give the stone to your Pokemon and they evolve and they stay like that in their Mega Evolution form. Which, I don't know how to feel about that but I don't know. Oh, hi, Nick. We got this letter in the mail. It was addressed to you. Here, read it. Hello, you recently withdrew a certain book from Salanto Library. Please bring it with you and meet me at Relic Relicia Ruins immediately. So they want you to meet at Relic Relicia Ruins. I don't know how to say that, right? And they mentioned that book you got from the library. Maybe you should get it from upstairs and bring it with you. So, we gotta go up and grab that book of ours. It's history book. Take it with you? Yes, the Dusty Tome. What a great name. Anyways. Let us head out. So, I, um, I do like this hack, if I'm being honest. Um, I've played it before. I've played a little bit of it before. Um, way, way, like, long ago. I've watched other people play this hack. So, you know. Um, it won't be fully blind. I just remembered, you should try it out these new running shoes I bought for you. You know how to use them, right? Just hold down the B button. That's some really excited music for running shoes. A perfect fit. Okay, Nick, you be careful out there. Now, I know, like, I'm not using, like, actual voices just because it would probably, A, hurt my throat, and I'd forget the voices for half the people. So, anyways, um, we are going to go to the ruins and find the person who we are looking for which is this old lady up here you took your time no we didn't we just got these totem poles are fascinating are they not for years they have stood here and nobody travels n knows what for they were said to be constructed by the elders of orbitus enough about that though i called you here because of the book in your possession it doesn't belong to the library it's actually a family heirloom of mine i believe the librarian stole it from me as you can understand it means a lot to me and i need it back would you be so kind? That's very noble of you. So, that's weird. Thank you very much. I have business to attend to, but but you have helped me greatly. I'll be sure to scold that librarian when I next see him. Farewell, child. Okay, so that's that. Now we can go back home and uh, just chillax. Nick. Apparently not. Did you meet up with that lady? She took your book? That's strange. Anyways, I realized you could have been attacked by a wild Pokemon just now. It's sort of irresponsible of me, wasn't it? Well, yeah. Thanks, Mom. Well, I've got good news. A Pokemon professor is giving out Pokemon in the library. 
You should go back and check it out. It's about time you got your own Pokemon. So we are going to be getting our um, first Pokemon for um, this game. So let's go in here. I believe this is the library. That's our that's our house. I was very wrong. This is the library, of course. Anyways, we're going to the back, and we can see Professor Redwood. At last, a third person. I thought more people would be interested in a free Pokemon, but obviously not. My name is Professor Redwood. As you may know, I am the Pokemon Professor of the Orbtis region. I've come here to Salanto Town today to seek out talent. You see, I'm getting quite old. I can't keep up with the field work, my research necessities. For that reason, I need helpers. I guess she wasn't interested. That's actually kind of great. Well then, I guess that prospect doesn't appeal to everyone. That leaves you two with the choice of these three po rare Pokemon. Please go and choose. Let's talk to this guy. You can choose first. Okay, so we have our three Pokemon, which are going to be our starters, and our choices are Turtwig, the Tiny Leaf Pokemon, Chimchar, the Chimp Pokemon, and Piplup, the Penguin Pokemon. So, I have, in past Nuzlocks, I have used both Turtwig and uh, Chimchar, having been Soda Pop, the Torterra, and Sacred Gold, and then Crow, the Infernape, in um, Flora Sky. Unfortunately, Crow did pass on... Um, due to a head smash from a Bufalon. I guess Bufalon's a really bad thing for a lot of people. Um, but either way, um, that does mean we do have one Pokemon that we've never used. And that is Piplup. So we are going to be using Piplup for this adventure. Now let's get my trusty name generator up. We've got Piplup. It is male and its name is going to be... If it'll load. Joel. Joel. That's actually a really good name. Joel. Joel D. Piplup. Congratulations. I'm sure you and your Pokemon will bond in no time. Anyway, I have a few errands to run. Meet me at my house in Arkton Town. I have one final gift for you, the two of you. I'll give it to you there. So, Nick. I guess we're going to get to know each other, hey? I should introduce myself. My name is... So we do get to name him. We do get to name our rival. Oh my god. I've been waiting for this moment. I can't not... I cannot... I cannot... Pass up this option. I'm gonna offend somebody. I'm gonna offend somebody for them not being my rival. I can almost feel it. Anyways, I'm gonna be glad to kick his ass. I'm kidding, Crow. I promise. Please don't hurt me. It's nice to meet you. I'll see you in Arkentown, okay? What a nerd. You see, he's wearing a visor. What a loser. Oh my god. I'm gonna be a dick to our rival just because I like to make fun of Crow for reasons unknown. Because I'm a bad person. But anyway, we do need to go to um, Arkentown. I have no idea how to get there. We do run into a Budu, though. Um, I don't know if it's up here to get to Arkentown, but we do have to fight this guy. Hey, you have Pokemon Trainer? Me too. Let's battle. However, since... The Nuzlocke has not started since we do not have Pokeballs. If we do in some way lose poor Joel, as in like he lose it, he faints in battle, it will not count until we have um, gotten our Pokeballs. Which we're about to, probably. We're going to heal up real quick, though. Just because we kind of need it. Um, here we go. I think this is going to be a really good hack, guys, if I'm being 100% honest with all of you. Anywho, we need to find Redwood, who's right here. Here he is. Ah, Nick, you made it. Crow and I were just discussing the gifts we I have for the two of you. Now, my giving away a Pokemon in Salanto Town wasn't just an act of goodwill. I need the two of you to help me out. At the moment, though, you're both wildly unprepared. So, to get you started, I made you these. They're your very own personal care packages. Take yours, Nick. And yours, Crow. Go ahead and open them. we got to open up our care package, which is in our key items, which is right here, and we're going to use it. Would you like to open the care package? They open the care package and obtain the Orbitus Pokedex. And a town map. Perfect. A Redwood card. Um, I don't know what that means. And a Pokeball. Some Pokeballs, so which means our Nuzlocke has officially began. We've got five potions as well. Quite a set of gear now. The Orbitus 
Orptis Pokedex records data on Pokemon you, you capture. The town map is a map of the Orptis region. It's handy for navigation. You can stop, stock up on more potions and Pokeballs and Pokemarts. Finally, the Redwood card. That officially makes you a member of my research team. It might help you out in certain, certain circumstances. Now, as you're aware, the earthquakes that have been happening recently are getting out of hand. I think we should g conduct an investigation on what exactly is causing them. I suspect we will find something in Arkin Tunnel. That is where we should head off first. I'll see you two there. So, Nick, I guess we're work partners now. Why don't we extend this to a little rivalry? Let's see who's the strongest trainer. Meet me in the entrance to Arkin Tunnel. We'll fight there. I look forward to it. So that means our Nuzlocke has officially begun, guys. Um, we are going to start off this um, beginning of the Nuzlocke by catching our first Pokemon here in Salanto Path. And we are going to find out what that is. And it, our first Pokemon to catch in the Nuzlocke is going to be a Zigzagoon. That is not bad because Zigzagoon can actually be a really good Pokemon. But we're going to go for that Pound. We go one more pound, and we can chuck a Pokeball. One, two, three, and it is caught, guys. Our first Pokemon of the Nuzlocke, Zigzagoon, has been caught. And we do get experience, which is awesome for catching Pokemon. So Joel is now level six. Zigzagoon. Tiny Raccoon Pokemon. A Pokemon with abundant curiosity. It shows an interest in everything, so it always zigzags. Give a nickname to the Capture Zigzagoon? Of course! We are going to nickname this thing, and its nickname is going to be Vernon. Oh man. We're gonna go Vernon. That's not what I... Vernon. There we go. We got Vernon the Zigzagoon. That is awesome, guys. That is absolutely awesome. We're going to go heal up real quick. I'm gonna see if there's any other routes we can actually catch Pokemon on real right now. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Um. I don't think we can. We're gonna, we're supposed to go to Arkin Tunnel. And we are supposed to fight our rival there. Um, we're gonna go stock up on a few more potions though. Just in case. Let's buy like four more. Let's buy like five antidotes, and we will buy a few more Pokeballs. Let's see what's down here, actually. Arkin Hills, another another area to catch a Pokemon, and let's see what that Pokemon's going to be. It's going to be a Meryl. That's not bad, but it is a water type, and we do already have a water type, so it's not too useful for us. We're going to try to catch it anyways. And we do catch it. Meryl, the Aqua Mouse Pokemon. The end of its tail serves as a, a boy, boy. Sorry. That keeps its it from drowning, even in a vicious current. Okay. That is kind of creepy. Anywho, this thing is going to be called Marvin. So, that is our newest team member. That is already three Pokemon, which isn't bad. We may still use Marvin, because I don't... I don't know if this game does have fairy types or not, and we can actually find out with Meryl. Um, it does have fairy types, so we will be using um, Marvin just because it gives us that fairy type bonus. But um, either way, I think that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Um, it has It's a semi-short video, but I just wanted this to be a nice little intro to the... Nuzlocke before we start getting too deep into the story so next episode we will go to the Arkin Tunnel so if you guys enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time